Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Mexico in... Hearts of Iron 4. Alright, we're training dudes. Um, when we get up to 10 army experience, I think we will add some support artillery to the infantry division. I think so adding, adding support, I think, is better than adding uh, like the towed artillery. Because if we want to add the towed artillery and keep our combat width small, so we can have a nice wide front line, um, we will have to remove infantry. And that would look like this. So it'd be like, take this infantry and replace it with artillery. Now we're back up to 11. Which, I mean, then we end up with penalties to things because we're, we're towing artillery around. Um, technically, uh, 31 soft attack is better than the 18 you get from the towed support. But notice that we don't get any penalties. And it uses 24 artillery with support versus one of these guys is 36. So, I mean, yeah, we'd have more soft attack with pulling actual artillery, but I think the penalties to everything um, kind of make the toad a little bit, little bit worse than support. We can modify government. Let's save that in hopes that we actually have our uh, fascist change over here in a moment. Could happen any day. Hindenburg incident. Okay. Okay, we've gained a civilian factory. Let's just ignore that for now. Check our training. Got you. Front line. Go. Up to 12 divisions on the front line. That's not bad. We have 23 divisions total. Our goal again is to try to get to like 48 divisions before the war. I think. That's what we want to do. And uh, I don't really know when the war will be, but we'll see. Okay, how are we doing on factories? Okay. Fascist sympathies in the military. Very well. The other thing that's nice about using the support is that uh, we won't have to do very much more training. In fact, I'm not sure that we even need to do any training. We No, we probably will. They'll probably lose their experience. Let's just add it to the whole thing. This is going to require lots of artillery that we're not going to have. Yeah, we need 816 units of artillery now. Alright, cool. Let's see what that does. Does that actually lower their experience? Yes, it did. It's unfortunate. Okay, so this is um, going to give us Elastic Defense, which is a defensive tactic. And I don't think we actually want to go any, really any further down this tree unless we do end up going for, like, motorized. Support Artillery Soft Attack for 135 days? No. I think we focus on like infantry, defensive breakthrough, and that kind of thing. Or we could head back over to industry, try to get construction speed up. We could try to get our reinforcement rate up. Air doctrine, I think we skip. No, I think um construction speed's gonna serve us a little bit better right now. We need to switch to, to fascist, please. Can you do that? Just tell everyone in this brand, this army to train for a moment. We'll lose our planning bonus. Alright, civil war for fascism. Hmm. Alright, while the attempts of the fascist movement to revitalize the people's pride in their nation have been have seen some success, the resistance against these ideas remains high. The generals plotting to overthrow the current administration are disappointed in the lack of confidence in the Mexican population themselves seem to have in Mexican Mexican superiority. They remain certain that the people will eventually tire of Lazaro. But are divided among what course of action to take. Some call for a coup to be executed now before Mexico's enemies take advantage of its weakness. The will to power is meaningless if one hesitates to seize it. So we immediately switch to that thing and there will be... Public elections will not be held. I just think we just do it. The non-aligned supporters start a civil war. Wait. How do we have two of these? What happens if I do this one now? Like, we are, uh, oops. We are fascist now, right? Yeah, we are. And then what if I just do this one? And we just avoid the civil war. <laughs> Did they just fire at the exact same time? Is that what happened? I think it is. We had both the peaceful and the, the rebellion versions of it fire.
Yeah, this is costly. Costing us a lot of stuff to get them modified. Okay, we're fascists now. And we have world tension at 17%, so we can actually already change off of civilian economy straight to war economy. Which is great. It's really good. We like that. So now we don't have a penalty to factory construction speed. Which is good. Construction speed of 39 from 6 factories. Amelia Earhart has died. Sad days. Okay, I think we can actually go up to speed 5. Yeah, I don't know why that happened in that way, but uh, hey, thanks thanks for doing that game. For letting me, uh, you know, just have a peaceful revolution. It's great. Appreciate it greatly. You guys are fully trained. Stop training. Uh, okay, construction efforts done. Leadership purges in the Soviet Union. And I think from here, do we want 20 more army experience? And 5% more recruitable population? I mean, we're actually kind of doing okay on manpower right now. I think we actually want to head down towards this, this two civilian factory bonus for the extra research slot. So if you guys are all trained... And you're trained. Let's get you up there. Marco Polo Bridge Incident. Japan is causing some issues with China. Jalisco. We have 24 divisions total. It's not very many. We need more. Now that we're fascists, we actually can justify a war goal. We could just say, like, conquer Texas. Takes 45 political power. Raises uh, world tension by 3%. I don't know that we're ready to attack him. Like I said, I want to have like 48 divisions. Two armies. And also we have, you know, desperate need of boat artillery and some of this other stuff. Yeah, it's just 1800 days. No problem. But they have some. And that's what's important. Fighting strength, 51%. Really? Being that short on toe to artillery puts you at 51% fighting strength? I guess compared to your peak fighting strength, that, that makes sense. Chief of Army, we could do Defense Division. Yeah. 10%. Bonus to defense is pretty worthwhile, I think. Well, we are making the Toad Artillery. Japan has started their war. Infrastructure effort is done. More infrastructure to the research slot or the two civilian factories? I think that uh, we gotta head to the research slot. Okay, five more divisions, six, seven, eight divisions about to deploy. Good. Let's uh, let's scale some of this back a little bit. I mean, we do want them to train as they come out, but um, let's try to plan it so we end up at the exact right number. We've got 25 divisions right now, and I want 48. So we need 23 more. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Some more cav is fine. Two out of one? Like... Oh, okay. What? You already started, apparently? Alright, it's fine. No, it went away. No, it just got shifted down. Never mind. Okay, two more to add to the front line. Got some more calf. That's good. We lack resources. That means that we're building more stuff. Germany, give me more steel. I need to make guns. It says we're low on manpower. Not really, though.
bit of time here. I am going to want radio, I think, for the war. So let's take that. We're at 36% world tension right now. If we don't start this thing soon, though, we're going to have some serious issues. So I think uh, we actually do just fire a war goal and just know that it's going to take you know, 200 days of planning. So in 200 days, how are we going to be looking? We have a shortage of artillery equipment for 800 some days and 112 days of infantry equipment shortage. So that's not too bad. We could add a few more units. And uh, capped by max manpower in the field, 75% of 147,000. Okay, so that's the most that we can actually try to train. And does that sync up pretty well? Or 31 days? Okay. Extra research slot. Italy is claiming Yugoslavian territories. We need more artillery. I think more so than we need the infantry equipment, so we'll queue those up. Let's uh, let's change that to like five, because I know we have five, we have four more units of tungsten. So the next four military factories come out, we'll make artillery. And beyond that, um, what else can we do? Get some more units off that, put them on that front line. There's two more divisions necessary for that army. And then we'll start up a new one. We could isolate the calf from the infantry. We wanted to have two separate, uh, two separate armies, but I think it's probably better just to have some in each. And his combat width is still just six, so I still feel like this is the right call. Um, having more divisions is maybe a little bit more micro-intensive, but it's also going to allow us to have like a wider combat width, like a wider border as we expand. All right, how fast are you guys here? You are 3.0 kph. Still have infrastructure problems, huh? Well, you're as fast as you can be. You're still faster than you would be if I hadn't taken uh, mobile warfare. You can modify our government again. Military high commands, division recovery rate. Um, none of those look that great. Material designer, infantry equipment design. Yeah, sure. We're going to research infantry equipment again soon. All right, let's go ahead and start the fabrication. In 200 days, well, as soon as we, well, 234 days apparently, because we need a little bit more political power to start it. We are going to uh, start the Mexican invasion, Synarchist Mexico. It's going to plan to invade the United States. We should have the training complete soon. Support weapons is done. 20 days for that. Sounds good. Try to get another research slot. Anschluss of Austria. Okay. Let's get a uh, construction effort for two more civilian factories. And our bonus research slot will go towards support weapons too. As so much of this stuff knocked out before the war as we can. I don't know. I have a feeling that we're going to have a hard time here. Um, getting this thing done before world tension hits 100%. But I'm going to try. We'll do our best, damn it. All right, and I'm going to shrink this front line. You know what? Let's not let's not shrink it. Let's just have two separate front lines. We're going to create another new army as soon as this guy's someone's ready. Get the other guy in charge. All right. Still have a 386 day shortage of artillery, 35 day shortage of infantry equipment. Next uh, political power change to change is probably going to be recruitment, or we could do the focus that gives us 5% bonus. That one might be easier, actually. Save our political power for something else. Okay, you guys are going to. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's fine. You guys are going to join a new army with the commander, the other commander. Same front line. And let's rename these armies. Army 1? No. No. Gotta lock the United States people out. Let's see what we can do.
Okay, so we've got 15 with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more in training. Perfect. It takes us right up to. Uh, nope. Yes. 15, 17, plus 7, 24. Got it. Cool. Good. Radar station or competing machine? I mean, we're going to want to have that eventually, so yeah, let's get that. Our fabrication is... Not even started, I forgot to do it. Crap. Well, starting the justification now. 195 days. Okay, so November 1st, 1938. Yeah, totally. Totally historic. National focus. Uh, we just got those. We could get some more military factories. I think we want militarism for the extra recruitable population. That'll allow us to field even more men. We could hire another general. Um, we're going to want one. Can we just like immediately promote him to field commander or is that a bad idea? Yeah, because then you you still you're still level one. So it's a level one field commander. He can he can appoint a lot of troops. Oh, he's level one. Yuck. Seven divisions. One of infantry type one. And six of garrison brigade. All right. I mean, he's he sees that we're. Trying to threaten him, so he's he's putting, putting troops on the border. Makes sense, I have to say. I still think we're going to go for it. We actually have plenty of infantry equipment right now. We could train up a whole bunch of extra lines. We're half a year ahead of time on weapons 2. But there's a doctrine. There's a there's a thing here that I want to do for infantry weapons. We'll do this and then we'll research it. So for now, let's knock out. Um, I don't really want to do support equipment. I don't think it's going to work. It's going to benefit us. This will help us though. How goes it? It's going to be a little while. How's the training look? Getting up there. So we have 45 brigades. You have an estimated 42 to 89, so that is good. We just got a ton of extra recruitable population. Let's get equipment effort. Let's uh, modify our government again if we can. Military high command. We are probably going to want like division recovery rates or, or something. We don't have any armor divisions. We're not going to do tanks, we're not going to do ships, not going to do aircraft. Chief of Air Force. And we could add another political advisor. If we wanted to, but I don't really think that helps us, does it? Infrastructure construction speed? I mean, no. Let's take the army regrouping expert. Yep. Random events that happen while you're fabricating. 120 days to go. Three, four, four more months. Do we have time to add support artillery? You know what, now that we have extra troops, let's add more units. Uh, we'll create a separate one of these, and we'll just immediately turn it into, like, 24. Well, let's just train as many as we can. Um, we lack infantry equipment, or some of them. I wish it would sum, like, how many of this we just did. Instead of making me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, well. Let's go up to like 12. Make it 24. 
Just pure infantry. We lack in equipment. We need more steel from the German Reich. All right. Fabrication, we're looking at November. Coming up. The United States doesn't actually get truly strong until like 1940, 1941, somewhere around there. So, assuming that world tension stays down, I, I do think that we have a shot at doing this. I know it can be done too, I've read about it, so. Alright, we're at our, our cap for tungsten. That's the most uh, artillery that we can actually produce. So we'll start making some more infantry equipment. Okay. France and Ber Germany, sorry, France and Great Britain announce an alliance. We have equipment effort. Excellent. Let's do that um, again, just so that it's available to us when we want to do the next level of stuff. Committee on Techno Technocracy. Te technocracy. We have 49 army experience available. The 15 divisions there. Cool. Well, these aren't as strong as, as they, you would normally expect, because remember they're only 10 combat width, but they're still stronger than most of the United States divisions. Of course, they do have engineers with them as well. They got support equipment and we don't. So that's not good, but uh, it'll be alright, don't worry. And we are still working on building just military factories. Interwar artillery. Uh, let's go work on this. We're ahead of time, but we can research it in 71 days, so it doesn't matter. And we'll start working on infantry equipment too then. Modify our governments. Strategic bombing, armor, naval AA attack. No. Chief of Air Force. Ship designer, tank designer, aircraft designer. None of these interest me at all. Um, we could change our conscription law. Let's do that. Justification is done. All right. I don't think we wait for infantry equipment too. I don't think we wait those two months. We have to declare the war like right now. But uh, let's just add all these troops, whether they're trained or not, to that army. So 24 and 24. And new troops coming out will be trained via combat. Could deploy them all right now, but they'd still be green with a 25% combat penalty, so we don't really want to do that. But we will have more units available soon. Declaring this war is 11% world tension, so that is dangerous because it's going to take us above 50%, which is where people start doing nasty things. This will put us at war with the Philippines, um, but we, uh, I think we're going to be, we'll see, we'll see. We could wait a little tiny bit. I mean, how are they doing on preparation bonuses? Some of the guys have just arrived here. Most of them are fully prepared. All right, I'm going to slow the game down, and we're going to take a break here. Next episode, we declare war on the United States. Good luck, United States. We'll see you soon.